Hello and welcome to ClimbingAlbrus.com In this video I've got a little trick for you on how to retrieve your friction saver if it gets stuck on retrieval so imagine if you're pulling it out and you've got like a tight union or you've gone round a couple of branches and it's like it's just jammed solid and you're pulling and pulling and there's no way to get it out um, there's a few things you can try so first off obviously you want to pull it and just and maybe get two guys on it sometimes that works sometimes it makes it worse depending on the situation uh, you might just tighten it up cinch it up and it could make it worse secondly kind of try and whip the rope around and if you're whipping it you might get enough kind of slack and then it'll catch and it'll kind of flick it out from where it's caught from and then the final method is this method of using a throw line, throwing it above the friction saver that's stuck. You have to make sure that your throw line is coming the exact route that your rope is going with no branches in between. And then you can clip on your rope, sorry, clip on your throw line onto the rope, pull the throw line up, and as long as your throw line is in a higher fork than your uh, cambium saver, friction saver, the friction, the throw line will pick up your rope and uh, friction saver, and it will hopefully loosen it and just pull it in a different direction, and it will pick it up out of the crotch that it's stuck in, and then you'll be able to lower it down. So I've thrown into the tree above the, the stuck friction saver and I've manipulated it down and lowered the end with the ball on down the exact same path as the rope that's stuck. Now if you're doing this in a, in a conifer this can be pretty tricky because it's got so many branches um, but you know it's doable a lot of the time with a bit of manipulation and skill if you're in a broadleaf tree it's much easier because there are less branches um, wider unions to get your throw ball through so uh, a bit of persistence is going to save going back up to collect your cambium saver so now we've got it coming down the same route as the rope we want to uh, connect a little uh, accessory carabiner connect that around the rope and what's going to happen now is as you pull as you pull the throw ball up, it's going to travel all the way up the rope. It's going to hit the cambium saver. You're going to keep pulling. It's going to pull the cambium saver up. It's going to pull beyond the fork that the cambium saver stuck in. Carry on going up to where you've thrown the throw bag to. And just keep pulling until you see that the, the friction saver is free of the fork. Now, if, you're, if you've only got the throw ball up a little bit above, you might need to, you know, do a few sharp pulls to, to kind of wiggle it out. But if you're quite a bit higher than the fork that the friction saver stuck in, it should be fairly easy. Um, but yeah, with a bit of manipulation, uh, you should be able to get that out.
Okay, so another situation you might get yourself into is that you pull your rope out without putting the retrieval ball on the end. So your rope comes out nice and easy, no problems, and then you realize that the friction saver has not come down with it and it is still sat up there in the fork. How do you get that down? Well, here's a technique um, that you could use depending on, you know, how many branches there are in the tree and how easy it is to get a throw line in, but this is another useful technique. So for this one, my cadmium saver is just stuck up there. Um, no rope, no nothing. I know it's quite low, but this is a demonstration. Um, so what I'm gonna do is use my throw line and throw the line in a, into a fork above the cadmium saver. Okay, now I've got my throw line in a fork higher than the cadmium saver and fairly close to it. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I need to pull a bunch of slack down because what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie like a, a slip knot in the line but I need to be able to hold both ends to manipulate it into the right position so I need to pull down a bunch of line so when I pull that slip knot up I've still got line on the ground so I can control it okay so now I've got both ends of the line I've put some slack through so now what I'm going to do is tie a slip knot onto one side of the line that's close to the cambium saver and what you need to do because the slip slip knot is directional I'm going to tie it in such a way that when I like when I'm pulling it up it's not gonna it's not gonna tighten it but from the ground once I once I loop the the friction saver I can tighten it from the ground and cinch it around the friction saver so you want to get yourself a, a decent sized loop not too big so that it goes so droopy because you're gonna need to get this loop around the friction saver now the good thing about this is that you can twist the line around and you can manipulate it into different orientations so hopefully you're going to be able to position it around the friction saver. Right, let's rescue this little bad boy.